Hey everybody, this is Vicki, also known as Grandma Lady, and it's looking a little bit dark with my rainy day out here. So let me turn some light on. Okay, did that help any at all? Let's see. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to check it out. And actually, the camera on the computer kicked in today instead of um, my Logitech. I don't know if I didn't push the right button or what I did or didn't do. There's nobody in yet. Let me see. I don't guess. Let's see. What's it saying is top chat. So I'm not seeing anything yet. I want, I'm not quite sure why. Okay, we've got four lurkers and two thumbs up. Maybe I'm not able to see the chat. I'm not sure. If anybody's in, say hello. Maybe you already have, and I'm just not seeing the chat. I'm not quite sure what. Oh, let's see here. Pop out the chat. Oh, I've never been offered that before. Oh, this is something new. Okay, so what is that? Okay, there is the chat. Oh, okay, I don't want to do that because then I just lost my picture. Do I drag this over here? Oh. Yes, Sandra. Um, hey, Jamie, how you doing? Hey, Doug, how are you? Yes, happy Wednesday. Hey, Kim, how are you doing, girl? And Sandra, yes, I do still want to swap jewelry. My life has just been so complicated. I feel like um, the funeral for my nephew just dragged on um, forever because of COVID. I'm actually going to have to put this down because I'm not seeing that. Hold on, I'm not seeing my picker. And I want to be able to see my picture. Why can't I have the chat up and the picture at the same time? I've never had this problem before. I don't want to not see what's in the chat. Okay, let's go on here. Let's see what this does. It doesn't do anything. Ooh, okay. Okay, I guess I am, oh, you know what, duh, my phone. Don't look at my uh, cluttery stuff back there. I am trying to organize an area I'm not doing too well, or it's not, I just spent the weekend with my sister at my um, funerals. My um, nephew's funeral. Okay, so is this on YouTube? I am live, right? <laughs> I act like I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there it was. Hold on. With my big old thumb in the way. Okay. Okay. My big old thumb in the way. Yeah, I'm actually, um, my printer is sitting right here beside me, and I feel so dumb that I still um, haven't, to, I'll be honest with you, I've had so much going on that I have not had the chance to sit down and figure it out. So, um, and you know what, I forgot to turn this down. Um, I'm actually going to show some hauls, and I don't have a lot of hauls right now. 
um, because I haven't been purchasing all that much. I'm in jewelry jail for real. Um, but I do have some things to um, show. So I'm just going to grab one bag at a time and start showing them. And this one actually has a couple of bags in it. So let's see what we got going on here. Okay. All right, Kim, see you back in a few seconds. Okay, Jamie. Let's see. Yes, Sandra. Just so you know, I haven't forgot about you. <laughs> right here they are. <laughs> I have them sitting right here on a bracelet um, thing right beside the um, computer here. So let me go ahead. This one says Lydia. And I actually think this one just came recently, like yesterday. I got one package today and I opened it up up there with my mom. Okay. I want to tell you something. My jewelry ladies are the best i have and i know that i share my ladies with cindy and roberta and all the other ladies in our group um but um i am glad to call you hey michelle how you doing i still have my eye thing going on um it hasn't started going away yet um, I am going to give it a couple more days and then I'm going to um, uh, maybe make a doctor appointment and I'm also going to have my foot checked out. I actually think I broke a bone trying to, I was trying to catch the mailman and I like went up on the front of my foot like in jog mode. I say jog mode, but I've not jogged in probably 20, 30 years, no lie. But when I went up on the front of my foot, I felt something pop inside there. And now it's just totally, um, it hurts. It's a little bit swollen. And it could just be like a stress fracture or it could just be, you know, a little out of joint. I don't know. I just know that it hurts and I'm happy to keep my foot propped up. I just want to say that my um, ladies over in um, Lydia's auctions, I'm talking about Miss Caroline. Miss Caroline gifted me these beautiful glass ladybug in Lydia's auction. Um, I went in and said, okay, I'm going to watch all you. I'm going to enjoy watching you guys buy jewelry because I'm in jewelry jail. And don't you know on the things that they knew that I would really love, they gifted them to me. Carolyn gifted these ladybug, glass ladybug beads to me. And they are absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to, um, uh, I've been purchasing some glass ladybug beads and um, I have been saving them up a little bit because what I want to do is put a couple of ladybugs around in my flower beds here. I know that's silly. Silly, silly Vicky. Okay. That came from um, Caroline. Kim Julius gifted me. We are not sure what these little beads are. Initially, I thought they were kitty cats because at first glance, they look like kitty cats. But at second and third glance, I think these are French bulldogs, the little black and white French bulldogs. And there's four sets, of four of them. Isn't that cute? So you could have um, uh, a pair of earrings, a pendant, and then a little um, bracelet with a... Um, but isn't that adorable? And like I said, I thought they were cats. They are actually, I think the black and white French bulldogs. <laughs> Does anybody know someone who has French bulldogs? <gasps> oh, Sandra, we need to make a trade. We need to make a trade for some of my silver for um, some of your uh, Monet, Trafari, and Sarah. I hear you. Okay, so here's the little French bulldogs, I think. 
this, I actually allowed myself a purchase that day. Um, because I had to laugh. Lydia kept saying, Vicky, if you don't get one of these kitty cats, they are going to be gone. <laughs> and she's right because they were selling out left and right. I got a set of three. They are cloisonne kitty cats and they are absolutely gorgeous. I think I may um, make some kitty cat pendants as some gifts for some of my kitty cat lovers. But isn't that cute? And she had them in all different colors. I don't know if she has any more ladies, but she did have these. Oh, Sandra, <laughs> that's funny. Well, we will make a deal, okay? I will trade for you as much of my silver as I can for your um, uh, signed pieces so that I can have um, a nice jewelry jar. How's that sound, hun? You can have it all, Vicky. I don't want it. <laughs> oh, I love you to pieces, girl. Okay. Looky here, Donna gifted me this. And you know what? Lydia had some of these again the other day. And I was so, 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 so tempted. Look, these are little four millimeter. And look at these. These are blue tiger eye. Aren't these gorgeous? Now look at these. Look at the swirls and the color. Some of them are darker and some of them are lighter. And some of them you can see the chatoyancy in the um, blues. Isn't that stunning? Oh, I don't know what I'm going to make with this, but I'm going to make something gorgeous. But those are beautiful. And she had some bigger sizes the other day. I can only hope that when I'm out of jewelry jail, she may have some more left. She had some, um, and she said that it comes available in other colors too. So I'm, I'm interested in that. My daughter said that she has seen some very pretty wildly colored um, uh, tiger's eyes. So I'm looking forward to that too. Okay, let's put this bag right here. And let's just go down here and see what's in the next bag. This says... Emily Springer. So she is, I have actually, um, a while back, I had tried um, some going to um, a few other auctions online just to check out the quality of what they have. And um, I did get a piece of um, silver from her that's just totally adorable. And I'm in the process of making um, a under the sea a uh, little lot with like shells and sand dollars. And look at this. This has a little moonstone pendant in there. And this is an octopus. And it is a pendant. And it is marked right on the bale here. It's so tiny. You're not going to be able to see it. But yeah. Isn't he cute? with some moonstone. So I got that from Emily Springer. I don't, let me see if the card inside says what the name of the channel was. Check it out. She did have some really nice stuff. Um, thanks so much. I hope you like the pendant. No, it doesn't say what her channel name is, but it's Emily Springer on Facebook. Um, the ones I've been going to, oddly enough, have been on Facebook. And when I asked them if they did videos on YouTube, did auctions on YouTube, they were like, you can do auctions on YouTube? So, um, yeah, when I've asked them um, about YouTube, they were actually surprised that you could have auctions on YouTube. So I'm not quite sure what to what to. What time is it here? I know Lydia's got um, her auction is coming on pretty soon. I'll send it to you right after the video, um, Sandra. I'm in Pennsylvania now, of course. 
Um, so we are going to be further apart. Um, but um, that's okay. Let's see. Who did this package come from? Coco's Designs. And you know what? I have been forgetting to um, email um, Socorro. Coco's Designs is Lydia's sister, Socorro. And um, she has been making, um, she and Lydia both make, um, they weave jewelry and um, they sell it to the ladies. And I want to tell you something. Lydia and Socorro, I'm going to show you two bracelets that Socorro made for me. And actually one was for my mom and one was for me. And they're absolutely stunning. And I want to tell you that um, what these ladies charge for their pieces is nothing compared to what they should be getting. I'm totally serious when I say this. I'm not just trying to kiss anybody's behind, but I'm telling you the amount of work that goes into one of these bracelets. And I'm going to show you one that she made for me in peacock colors. That's all I said was peacock colors. Let me show you the bracelet she made for me so that it fits snug right on my um, wrist. And um, isn't that stunningly beautiful? Now the sun's not out right now and I'm trying to catch the light that I have one in here, but it's not um, showing real good. But look at this bracelet. And I want to say this one, she charges $35 for most of her bracelets. And I want to say this one was 35, but I might be telling a fib. It may have been more. I don't know. So if you say, I want one like you made for Vicky, um, I'm not sure how much this cost me. I just know that um, these ladies do not charge what their jewelry is worth. They use all Swarovski crystals in there. Look at that. That is stunning with peacock colored Swarovskis. Isn't that gorgeous? And then it's got the little button underneath on the cuff here so that it fits snug against your wrist and look guys look at this weaving the design in there there's a little tab for the button there's um, the bead that makes the button and I'm telling you this is going to be my new favorite bracelet. I don't know what I'm going to wear it with yet. And you know what? I might just wear it with blue jeans and a t-shirt. I don't know. It's stunningly beautiful. Michelle, you should check out um, Socorro's. She comes on Lydia's channel um, and she might even be on today. I don't know. I'm not sure if um, her early day is the day she comes on with Lydia or not, but I'm telling you, she's got stunningly beautiful work. She made this one for me. And like I said, I want to say it was 35, maybe $40. I don't know. Here's the one I had her make for my mom. And it straight up looks like a turquoise bracelet. And she used, am I using the right term? Duo beads, those little blue beads that look like turquoise in there. I think are the um, duo beads, I might be telling a fib. I don't really know what all these beads are. I just know that these ladies do fantastic work. And this one, um, she made extra long, like almost nine inches for my mom. My mom has a big wrist. So those two bracelets right there came from Socorro. Coco's Designs, Lydia's sister. She comes on Lydia's channel. Here is, if you want her information. Hey, Kat, which one of you is back there doing something? Okay, I see which one. A little big troublemaker, the big floofy one. If you can read that backwards, there's Coco's phone number and her website. You will not be sorry, ladies. I'm telling you, these ladies make awesome jewelry.
the bronze pony Stephanie design. I've made this before. Okay, what's the bronze pony? Is that the um, one with looks like turquoise? Okay, let's see what's in the next box. This is still from Socorro. Okay. Oh my, I forgot to give this to my mom. One of these, um, they both make rings. Lydia and Socorro both make rings. Here is mine with um, light blue Swarovskis. And I'm not sure what those little um, uh, burgundy colored beads are in there. And they might be brown. They almost look like um, garnet, but I know they're not. They're just little round beads. But isn't that pretty? Here's the one I had her make for my mom, a Rivoli. I don't even think, um, I think we got through this box and either mom didn't see it or she forgot to snatch it because she didn't grab her ring. <laughs> I'll have to take it back up to her a little later. I don't, you know what? I'm so bad. I'm not giving you good information here. I don't remember how much the rings cost, but they are beaded as well too, totally beaded. And she does them to your size and to your specification. And I think that's special. Totally, totally catering to the customer. Stunning. Okay. And this next one is my phone is spinning so bad that um, I'm like five minutes behind. Okay. Wow. Here is looking for a bust. Here is a necklace made out of. A uh, red tiger eye uh, with seed beads and Swarovski crystals. And I love how it's like the little festooned in between. It's like layered. It drops down a little bit. Isn't that gorgeous? But you know what? I think that'll hold. Ooh, nope. There I go thinking. I thought it would hold it in. But uh, okay, I'll have to hold that at the top. That is gorgeous, stunningly gorgeous. And once again, Socorro. And I, I'm really bad. I don't remember how much I paid. I'm sorry, guys. But um, she lets you know how much everything is before she um, charges you. She okays that with you first. So um, um, it won't be, she's not going to charge you something that you don't know what it is. Lilac colors, that sounds pretty. Ah, I bet those are very pretty. Okay, let me see what I can find next. Let me put these two little bags down inside so that I know I can put them away. Okay. What do we have here? Ooh, this is from Cindy, and I think I had already taken a few things out of here, but let me check. Yeah, I think the things that were mom I already gave to her. And this is from Cindy, jewelry nurse um, Cindy. Um, we actually, she found... Two brooches that are signed um, Limoges. I'm sorry, Sterling Limoges and Sterling Limoges. They are the same. One is in, I don't know. They look slightly different. One has some wear. Ooh, so one of them looks like it got um, scuffed along the road or uh, something. This one right here is scuffed along but it's marked sterling and lamode on the back l-a-m-o-d-e there are two of these 
I guess it got these thinking mother daughter. I don't know. Um, most days I seem to be um, looking at things for uh, my mom <laughs> and my dad. There's not as many things for my dad as I would like. Father's Day is coming up. Ooh. Okay. There's a chain. This is gorgeous. Ooh, look at this abalone pendant. That's a nice big chunky piece. And look, you can see it's open in the back. But look at that silver. Yowza. And then here is... Oh. Okay, Lydia just went live. Oh my goodness. I feel bad. I didn't realize it was that close to uh, one o'clock. Yeah, I don't remember what I paid for those, Sandra, but they weren't very expensive. I'm telling you, they don't charge what their stuff is worth. I know we are getting the awesome deals because of it. Um, but I feel bad that they are not making what they should. Oh my, this chain has one, two knots in it. I'm going to have to, uh, this one right here is very pretty and I'm not sure where Cindy got this, but I absolutely loved it. And I knew it was going to be too short for my mom. So I thought, well, if she does like it, we can always put an extender on it. This one is marked 925. There's a funny 925. And then some kind of, oh, that says Italy. There's some kind of maker's mark on there. I'm not sure what it is. Anyhow, this is a square chain. This is not a round chain. This chain has corners. It's a square chain. And then it has a strand of round beads, which I generally don't like. I call them the seating chain pools or the toilet chain pools. <laughs> I do have some of them, and I love this necklace. Um, however, I can be persuaded to sell. There's something that uh, Sandra likes that she's wanting to trade for all that vintage jewelry she has. She's got it. So here's this one, and isn't that gorgeous? Let me see how long that is. It's kind of stiff. Because um, it's square. And then it's got that round chain wrapped around it, which makes it um, it's like 16, 17 inches. So this is a small one. I like that. If there's nobody who wants to buy that, Miss Vicky just might keep that. Okay. There were, I'm sure, other things in this bag, and my mom done snatched them. <laughs> so, um, uh, better that you didn't see them and then have them snatched, right? Because my mom's got first dibs on just about everything, unless I purchased it specifically for someone else. Let's put these goodies away in here. Okay, let's go to the next one here. You know what? I'm actually going to stop here. This is going to be a short one today because Miss Lydia is going live with her auction and I want to go over there and support her um, maybe later on this evening. I think today she ends her auction like around six, somewhere between five and seven-ish. Um, so it, whenever she ends today, um, yeah, yeah, it's early. And I just, I forgot that she was coming on early today. Wednesday is her early day. And I just totally um, forgot. I came down. I told mom, I said, okay, it's good to see you too, Kathy. I, I just looked up and I was like, oh, there's my girl. Okay. So we actually have, let's see, we had Sandra. We had Jamie. We had Doug. We had Kim Julius. 
and um, Michelle. So we had a couple people. It, it said that we had, it says that we have nine right now. So, um, Sandra, if you see anything that I'm showing that you like, you let me know and I will put that aside to trade with you. Okay. You just need to let me know if you see anything um, that I have. Um, I'm not sure what that. Oh, dad is outside. My landlord, dad. <laughs> um, they got that ditch covered over. Uh, my uncle came over with his tractor yesterday and they covered that ditch over. Now I don't have to walk the plank. They had a plank over top the hole for me to walk across. I was doing a tightrope walk. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, end this one right now. I know it's only a 30 minute video and that's um, a short video for me, but I do want to go in and support Lydia. Any of you um, were welcome to go see uh, Lydia Arito's Jewels. Um, she is either live right now or going live at 1.15. I'm not for sure what that said when it popped up or not. But at any rate, um, I will try to come back on later this evening after she's done and show some more stuff. I don't have a whole bunch of stuff because I did like six months um, all in a row. But um, I do have, I've actually been getting some um, specimens and gemstones and um, look at this. This is what's called an orca flame. And this is agate, I want to say. And it came up with a big white, like the belly of a whale when it comes up out of the water. So they call this orca stone. And then they, they cut it so that it looked like a flame. So this is called an orca flame. Isn't this gorgeous? I absolutely love this and I'm trying to figure out, should I put this out on my porch or keep it inside? I don't, what I put out on the porch, I got to make sure is not heavy enough that the cats can, you know, bat <laughs> like they do. And I do have a few things that are lightweight, but so far they have not bat any around. So I wanted to start seeing if I could put some of my my nice specimens out there. So um, I may see if, if I can put this out on the porch. So I will um, have a big load of stuff to show tonight. Not a big load, but a load of some things to show this evening um, when Lydia's through with her auction. And I will talk to you all later. And thanks for coming in. Bye-bye.